Your 20s are the best year of your life. Enjoy them while they last, they say. Your 20s are the year you take risks, the year you fall in love and learn to take care of yourself, the years you finish your education and join the workforce, the years where you connect with yourself and you find who you truly are, the years of finding your place in the world. With so much pressure of becoming someone, we race. We race to finish starting fast, to get that quick promotion, to earn more money by switching jobs every two years, to date as many people as we can with the hopes of finding the one. We constantly run and race through our golden years with the hope to find what we're looking for. But do you know what it is you're looking for? Or are you like me constantly changing what you're looking for without actually taking time to sit, slow down and find what that is? I'm 27 years old and I've never felt more lost in my life. I raced through my education and started working as fast as I could because I wanted to make money and be able to buy the things I wanted. In the midst of this race, I forgot to slow down. Slow down to take a look at what I've done. Take a look at what I'm doing. Take a look to enjoy my present and ask myself one very single question. Do I like my life? We can be whatever we want. There's a place for everyone. And that is the problem. We can be whatever we want. When our parents were kids, their path was pretty clear. Some would go to study, others straight to work, and if they were lucky enough, you could even choose what they would do for work. Then they'd have kids, buy a house, and we know the story. Nowadays, with the internet, we have so many choices. You can literally do whatever you want. And that is really the problem. There is abundance of choice. And when there's abundance of choice, we struggle to actually make any. When we're teenagers, we're forced to make decisions that will set the way we live for the rest of our lives. I'm 27 years old and looking at the world 10 years ago, it's a complete different story than now. Social media is full of people that fill themselves with money and show it off. They are just 19 years old and they have more money than I could even imagine. When I was 19 years old, I was just thinking with what drink would I poison my body this time. Constantly compare myself with these teenagers. So I quit social media. I felt into this mindset of constantly running, chasing for a place and a dream that perhaps was not even mine. And that is because I've never sat down to think what I wanted. Today at 27 years old I slowed down for the first time, forced by a mental break I needed to take. I had to take a break from work because the mental stress of doing something I was not happy with, as well as trying to figure out what makes me happy is, was literally draining my energy away. And that is fine because I'm only 27 and still have 60 more years to live, I hope. When I was a kid, I looked at 25 years old and they looked so wise, so adults. I felt like they had their life figured out. Now I look at myself and constantly ask, what the f am I doing with my life? I've recently come to realize, this thought never expires, just evolves in thoughts. I look at people in their 40s and wonder, are they also having these thoughts? Are they also still trying to figure this life thing out? Or is it just me who is struggling? I look at those older than me and it seems like they just go by, still trying to figure out life, not having made the right decisions at some times, and constantly asking themselves, what the fuck am I doing? There are a few things we cannot control, past being one of them. When giving so much choice, it's even difficult to make decisions in the present and think of the future and how it will look like. But people have their own stories to write, with their own problems and struggles. And the truth is, no one has life figured out, no matter the age. We're constantly learning from each other and from our own experiences. There is no need to compare yourself with others because we're living by, figuring out as we go just trying to make our day today more pleasant and easy for ourselves. And while at some points life may feel like a hustle or a problem, overwhelming, just remember to slow down, take a deep breath and remember, it will all be fine. In the great scheme of things, when you zoom out and let time heal, you realize that the problems you used to worry about seem insignificant at times. And when you look back at them, was it that bad as you remember? Just remember to share. Enjoy. Leave the present here and now. 
because that's all you have and that's all you will ever have. When you think of the past, it's just you in the now, reliving memories of the past, yet still you in the now. When you think of the future, it's a constructed thought of what you think the future will look like. Once you get on your mind that there's only now, that's when you will finally understand to be in the present and to live every day a moment, to cherish the little things in life and to actually live. When you find yourself struggling, remember those times when things got worse and then better. Remember that there's an escape from where you're at and that it all heals when you give it time.